I've done extensive research on Tao and Tao makes the most sense as far as a um, slightly less risky AI play. It's your boy Crypto Million back with another one. Guys, I can't stress enough about how confident I am with my investments in Tao, but not only Tao, the Tao subnets, right? I really, really, you know, recommend you guys to go check out my Tao videos, specifically how to buy Tao subnets. This is reminding me of when virtuals first came out, right? Virtuals first came out and then everything on virtuals just started to go up, but quietly, no one was talking about it. And then you quietly had that, that 100 million runner or, and then, you know, now you start to see the native token, right? Run up to billions and billions of dollars. Now, the crazy thing about these subnets, right? And I keep doing these videos, right? If I'm not talking about it in the live, I'm talking about it in the Patreon, but I'm pointing out how the market caps of these subnets have been slowly rising, right? Um, You can see the first couple of subnets I hold right here, which is Data Universe, which I'm up almost 7x, and Nova, which I'm now up 6x, right? This thing went up 195% on the weekly, but I don't hold shoots. I've been talking about shoots since it's been a $6 million market cap, and it's now closing in on a $40 million market cap. And I've told you guys how important AI is to our everyday life is literally being integrated into businesses, um, <laughs> sports, uh, you know, anything you can think of, the health market, they're using AI, right? Um, you log into Facebook, X, or any platform, right? What are they using for image creation? They're using AI, right? So if you invest in the infrastructure, right? Because what did Sam Alton say maybe a week ago? He said, our GPUs are being fried, fried, right? Because you guys keep using up our AI. So there's a kind of like a shortage with chips and GPU. So there's a, it, and I talked about it with one of my guys in the Discord, like, man, if anybody who solves the GPU issue, right, the shortage, the people who invest into that are literally going to be millionaires because we cannot stop the emerge you know, the, the emergence of AI, right? And you can see some of the things that Tao has as far as use case. Um, global collaboration enables developers worldwide to trade, deploy AI models, peer evaluation AI models rate and reward each other based on values contributed to Tao. The subnet ecosystem, which I'm extremely bullish on detail, where users access specialized AI services via dedicated subnets and you know, the, the, the plethora of different partnerships and integrations of the ecosystems in the community. So um, they even have the, you know, I would pay attention to if Talbot can pull it off, right? Um, them being one of the top DEXs that allows you to uh, bridge liquidity to actually trade subnets. So there's a lot of stuff going on within the ecosystem of Cal. Um, and you can see the real, real tra uh, traction here. Um, they already got almost a hundred subnets, right? They're growing an entire ecosystem. And the one thing I like about the subnets is that you can hold these subnets and just chill, right? You can't do that with Solana AI coins, right? They're literally five minutes down 80%. I've been watching these subnets just slowly cook and grow. And that's what you want as an investment, right? You want to feel like you can go to sleep at night What's your investment? And these are low caps within an entire ecosystem. Now, the video, though, is about Tau because Tau is, you know, it was like 190 bucks yesterday. I think it, it pumped back up to 220. Right. So right now it's like 219 and it's sitting here at critical support. Every time we've touched the support, we've had a nice good bounce um, back to almost six, seven hundred almost three, three to four X every time we've hit the critical support of around 200. So Tau is severely oversold, but you would think that the subnets would be getting wrecked. This is how you can kind of like uh, uh, gauge the, the potential of the project because the subnets are still going up, even though the native token is going down and you rarely see this. What do we see from Ethereum tokens? ERC 21, Ethereum gets crushed. 
ERC20 tokens get crushed. When Solana gets crushed, Solana meme coins get crushed. Tao is le legitimately getting crushed, but the subnets have so much value, value, right? That they're only going up. And I've really never seen an ecosystem like this besides the growth of virtuals. And it grew really, really fast. And again, I, I told you guys a whole data universe, Nova, Dojo, and Sports Tensor here. Sports Tensor, which is up 34%. It's been the least productive of out of all the subnets that I personally I'll, I'll hold for. Do your research on the subnets. They're still dropping new subnets. So I got to catch up with my re research now because there's 87 subnets, right? When I first bought subnets, it was like 70 of them. Now there's 87. So I got to start, you know, getting back on my research and trying to figure out some of these new um, subnets that's coming on board and some of the uh, infrastructure plays because I'm an AI investor, but I focus on infrastructure, GPU compute powder. Uh, um, um, the uh, the uh, infrastructure that's training LLMs, right? Uh, I'm not really interested in a specific AI agent. Um, data universe, right? I like to see uh, a whole group of subnets utilizing one subnet for its data purposes, right? So you see how that works. So I'm I'm just saying that tau you know and the fact that crypto has been holding up you're getting some nice accumulation here with btc in the midst of stocks literally like stocks have been doing this today i gotta show you guys like stocks have been doing this today like you see this like stocks have been doing this this is crazy right now i don't know if crypto opens up tomorrow and starts tanking because stocks got literally crushed but I don't think stocks can afford to keep going down. I think at some point um, this right here is going to cause an ease in the market. As I stated in the video that I made earlier, like the more that that stock market crashes, the closer we get to QE. The, the sad part is, man, is that so much people either just don't have the extra money or they lost money. And it's not that people don't want to buy the dips or they just not smart enough to understand that this is the time that I need to be focusing on bringing my averages down. It's just people just don't have money, right? It's just, things are tight. So with that being said, I know it's tough, but it wouldn't be me if I didn't point out to you guys that there's a lot of opportunity right now in crypto, especially with projects where you can see the strength right now. It's not that I'm saying we, I, I'm like, oh, Tao is it just just this project's going to be the next Bitcoin. But I'm noticing the strength within the ecosystem alone, which tells me that there's interest in the native token because people are investing within the Tao ecosystem. These are subnets, right? <laughs> go look at the video when I first made how to buy Tao subnets and go look at the market cap of Chutes. You can start right there. So not here to, to really shill anything to you guys. Um, you got to make the decision based on what what you do based on your research. You know, if you got to pause the video and, and check out my template that I made personally on Tau, you can do that. Um, like I said, my thing with Talbot is that it's really, really risky. But if they do deliver, right, if they do deliver this platform, it's going to be a top token, right? It's going to be a, easily a $100 million token, but they have to deliver the platform, right? They have to deliver this platform that allows you to bridge Ethereum liquidity and trade sub, Tau subnets. They, they can't fuck it up. They got to deliver, right? So I want to say Talbot is a little bit more risky, but there are also other big influencers talking about it. So, so there is that sense of like people know what this project is and they're, uh, assuming that they are going to deliver so just do your research on some of this the stuff that's going on in tau start your research now on these subnets before there's a thousand subnets like you get a chance to get into an ecosystem um that's that's that hasn't even minted its first 100 tokens chat so i mean just let me know what you think about tau i'm very bullish on tau do your research it's a lot of ai techie techie stuff 
But if you understand the certain things that AI needs as far as data and infrastructure and compute powder, power, I don't know, I keep saying powder, compute power, then you know, you, you'll have a good idea of where to start putting your money within the AI sector. It's your boy, Crypto Millie. I'll see you in the next one.